Hi, everybody. Welcome to the spring 2021 semester. This is a short video to get you started in each of your classes. And this video is for thermodynamics, fluid dynamics, mechanics of materials, statics, and for those of you that are doing an independent study or finishing a course in dynamics. So I'll record a separate video for engineering surveying and practical surveying, which I will post and send as well. Um, anyway, I wanted to start at the beginning of how we're going to go through the classes. And first, to get to your page, you'll go to my.nwc.edu. And over here on the right, you will have access to whatever classes you are taking this semester. So if we start with thermodynamics, for example, the page will bring you to your Moodle, this, this button will bring you to your Moodle page. And that will, this is going to be extremely similar uh, for all of the classes that this video is, is for. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just switching to a student view so that the page will look more like your uh, page. So basically what we have here is at the beginning of each class, up in the beginning, we have the syllabus for the spring of 2021. And all of the information that you need for this course is here. Now, each of these courses that we've talked about, um, except for statics, is asynchronous, meaning that you will complete the work on your own uh, with my help as you request it from me. Uh, I'll record videos. You'll watch them. I'll sub I'll ask for homework assignments. You'll submit them. Then we'll do quizzes and exams. So in each one of these classes, the pieces that will be a part of your grade are homework assignments. There will be between eight and 10 homework assignments, which will be spelled out on your Moodle page. There will be two quizzes and there will be a midterm exam and a final exam. The midterm exam and the final exam will each take two hours and will be proctored. Everything else is done on your own. So taking a look at the syllabus, just uh, read through it. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But basically you can get a hold of me all of the time. If you email me at astra.northrup at nwc.edu, even though we're still meeting sort of in a squirrely fashion because of COVID, uh, I am always here or I'm always at home and I'm always available to help you. So please do not hesitate to get a hold of me for anything, whether it's a class organization issue or something about the material itself. So in each one of these classes on my syllabus, you'll see that the textbook is uh, shown and that the grading system is shown. For each of the classes we've talked about, uh, the grade percents are the same. Your homework is worth 10%. Your quizzes are worth 10%, your midterm exam is worth 40%, and your final exam is worth 40%. Now, if you get a 90%, you're guaranteed an A, 80% guaranteed a B, and so forth, um, but I always reserve the right to round up. So I'll never, ever round your grade down, but if you had, for example, an 89.4, you may get an A or an A- minus or a B plus, depending on, or you could get a B. That wouldn't happen most likely, but um, but I will never, ever, ever round down. So if you have an 80.0, you will always get at least a B. Okay, so um, since we don't meet face-to-face, uh, -face, um, you need to email me if you need to get a hold of me. The other thing that you can do is to send me a text and I text all the time unless I'm asleep. I have my phone turned on and with me at all times. Uh, my phone number is 307-272-1833. And you're welcome to send me a text and I will get back to you at my earliest, at the earliest possible opportunity. Um, so the way that this works, let's go back to the homepage. And if you have any other questions, you can hit the syllabus and let me know what's, what's interesting or what you need to know about. And then the universal syllabus information, which means it's about all the classes here at NWC, can be found at this link. Okay. If anything changes, I will, um, I will, I will change it on the syllabus as well. Okay. So here in thermodynamics, you now see what the syllabus looks like. Uh, if there are any 
other announcements, this homework template, for example, this is the same for all the classes that we've talked about. Uh, this is how I want you to do your homework. It's very important. You have to write your last name and your first name and the assignment um, on the top of every page. You number your pages by saying this is page one of however many you have, six, five, whatever. The next one will be two of six, three of six, and so forth. Um, you have to have a problem solution method that shows the way that you've thought through this problem. The answer uh, needs to be written in the proper number of significant figures or approximately the, pro the proper number of significant figures. The number it's a number plus unit, unless it's an essay question, in which case it's some short answer. But in general, you have to write it in that way to get full credit. When you submit your homework, let's go back to the course page, show what that looks like. Um, I've, I, so you need to use the green paper, the engineering comp paper. I do have some in my office if you don't have any uh, available to you. So if you want to come by, I'll give you some to get started. So for every one of the classes, the first the first unit has been posted. Um, if you look below, you'll see there's the next after this takes us through um, January 25th. All right. So basically what you do is these, these represent, um, these represent videos that you'll watch. They're all on YouTube. So if our system goes down, I do have a concordance so I can give you the address to go directly to YouTube. So if you need to do that ever, let me know. Otherwise, go through um, on the on the chapter on the web page. So you'll watch these videos: Thermo uh, One B, Two, Three, and then I have a, a lecture here from pro, for, from the pro, for the problem set for Chapter One. Now in this link, you'll see that I have a complete list of the homework problems. So those are the numbers in the textbook that you will uh, be completing. Now, if you continue down here, um, here this is US homework problems for chapter one. If you don't yet have the book, um, you can use this material so that you can get your homework done. Uh, the other thing I need to mention, this is especially true for thermodynamics. There are two versions of the textbook out. One is SI units only, one is US and SI units. You really have to have US and SI units. So if you have the SI version only, you're not going to be prepared to deal with the English system of engineering units. So make sure you have the correct uh, book. Um, I also have a thing here, you'll notice we're going to be doing a type of a problem called manometry, and I've drawn a sketch for one of the problems to help you out. And then finally, last but not least, there's a submit button. Um, submit. One of my students said a few years ago in this class, think submit for success. Okay. So you'll submit homework number one. In other words, these lectures talk about pieces of chapter one. This is the complete list of homework. And here you want to submit all of the homework for chapter one, no later than uh, January 25th. When that piece of our homework is over, I'll post chapter two so that you can get started with that. Now, I also want to let you know that last semester I was very uh, forgiving about submitting late homework, where homework could be submitted any time during the semester, and um, then I would not remove credit for it. I'm still going to be pretty loose with that, but when we have quizzes, we'll have two quizzes. One will come after Chapter 2, uh, and one will come after Chapter 6. Then we'll have the two um, midterm and final exams. The midterm and final are the only elements that are scheduled and they have to be proctored. So when we get close to those days, I'll give you some choices as to a two hour time block when you can do your midterm and your final. Before we do that, we'll spend some time getting to understand what you get to take with you to prepare for the midterm and the final. And we'll continue with that. So for now, um, I'm going to flash to all of the different classes. Thermo, watch these four lectures, do the homework problems, and submit them by January 25th or thereabouts. If you're a little late, I'm not going to beat you up over it. Let's go down here to statics. I um, want to take a look at the statics webpage. I'm going to once again switch over to the student view so it doesn't look so um, as complicated as it does in the teacher view. All right, so if you're in statics, 
same thing, syllabus, homework template, um, and, and then the message about engineering comp paper. Now, statics is the only class we have that actually has a schedule. We have a time that we meet, which is Monday, Wednesday, Friday at one o'clock. So your job is to watch the video first and then meet with me after you've watched the video. So today our schedule says meet at one, but I'll actually post this video, which is going to be about 15 minutes long, and we'll meet at approximately 1.15. So you'll notice right away that this will be changed to watch videos before class. It will say number one or number one B, whatever this one turns out to be. And then a uh, Zoom meeting begins and it will be at 1.15. So then coming down, you'll see here's chapter one. All right. And once again, uh, we have chapter two notes. We have a couple of lectures that you watch. There's a conversion unit. Uh, unit it's on unit conversion handouts, which is actually the homework for this section. There, it, when you get the book, you'll see that statics chapter one does not have any problems with it. It talks about unit conversion, so this handout takes the place of the unit conversions for chapter one or for the homework for chapter one. All right, so we've done thermo and we've done statics. Then we'll come down here. This is mechanics and materials. Uh, you'll see the format is is similar to the same thing. Let me turn it to student view once again so you don't have to look at all my notes to self okay here we go so you'll see once again uh, we have the course syllabus we have the homework template and then we have our first homework assignment which is going to be due on january 22nd um so once again you watch the lectures you can these are pictures and notes that refer to the lectures so you watch the lectures um, then you have the uh, homework, which is, it shows you the problems here, problems from the handout. Those are the ones that you'll do and that you'll hand in. So let's take a quick look at fluids. And just to make the point. There we go. Once again, homework template is right here. Coming down here in the introductory uh, material, here is the, this says syllabus for summer, but of course it will be changed to spring 2021 semester. It really is, I believe this the spring. Um, yeah, it is the, it's just labeled incorrectly on the Moodle page. So I'll take care of that, but you can read through the syllabus to see what you're going. And then we have a math concept pretest right here. This is our first homework assignment. And then you'll submit that no later than January 22nd. All right, everybody. So I think now uh, you can see what, what this looks like, uh, what the class is going to look like and how we're going to start. Another point I just really want to make is I am here to help you. It's what I, especially in these times of COVID and not meeting face to face. Um, I am available almost all of the time. So I hope you will take advantage of that and work with me as you need. If you have any questions about this, please get a hold of me. Once again, either email me, astrid.northrup at nwc.edu, or uh, send me a text, 307 272 And either way, I'll get back to you really quickly and we'll clear up anything. All right, everybody, have a great day. Happy first of the semester. And I'll look forward to working with each of you as the semester continues.